There is no doubt that across the length and breadth of Nigeria, we have talent everywhere. Potential world beaters. We live in a nation of well over 200 million people in a multi-billion dollar industry where we have all that it takes to thrive and excel. Yet, year in, year out, major laurels keep eluding us. We know the role that proper funding plays in sports all over the world. Sports business has always been shaped by corporate organizations through business models that are powered by adequate funding. That is why today we are unveiling an enabler that will facilitate wealth creation for our citizens and collective prosperity for our nation. That is the idea behind TNFF. You see people who don't know much about football venture into the game of football because of the because of there's no form. The work the little money you can get from the players, training you or what's it called. Then when it comes to the technical aspect of it, it's, it's zero. So we don't want that. We want government a bit to support us in, in the area of sponsoring teams. If we can get funds to sponsor teams, then we can be able to do what? Make bring out good talents, bring out you know future players and maintenance of this of this country. There's great talent in this country, but the, the funding is not there. Funding has been the issue. Um, I've not been having any encouragement and moreover I can say that uh, Nigeria has not been getting it right. You know, in other countries where you have Olympic champions, even other ex-international that did well, though they were not able to get the medal, you know, their countries normally use them you know, to play a role model um, to the upcoming ones and thereby helping to groom and nurture the new breed. But Nigeria here reverse is the case. Like some players now, they did they, they team. If say the coaches and the management, they don't get money to push their football to Europe. But at least if they get sponsors, we go free push their money. They get offers for European countries, but no money to run their passports, their visa, and their flight tickets. So now, one of the major problems for Nigerian football with us. And I remember asking them, why always is um, the Ministry of Sports so sidelined? Why, why always is it that people perceive that the person that's put in charge of the sports ministry um, is not one of the better minds of government, you know? That perception, whether it's true or not, but a perception that, so, and that, you know, governments haven't thought this thing through, that when you're looking at the country, uh, bonding and unifying the country, um, economic diversification of the country, um, tourism, that so much attention should be paid to so youth development, um, job creation, taking at youths off the streets, finding something worthy for them to do. Security, when all our youths are well engaged, you know, it helps secure, you know. But I, I've never understood it. Why I've never seen any Nigerian government since the late 50s or early 60s pay special attention to sports. And I think it's a disaster. GTI aspiration is to deliver a project that will serve as a one-stop shop for all stakeholders whose common aspiration is to see sports in Nigeria attain new heights of development leading to a united people and stronger economy. In the sports sector where others see challenges, GTI has always seen possibilities. The Football Fund is a really great initiative. I think it uh, fully supports uh, the economy, on a, it supports our youth, it supports sports in this country in various manners. It deepens the economy as well. And I'll start from, I'll, I'll mention three or four of them. First of all, for the economy as a whole, it localizes investments. What it also means is that we stop losing our people going abroad to go and play in teams. Uh, you can imagine the kind of money that's being generated on the Premier League. What if we start a fund that supports our own leagues and it grows from there? phenomenal impact on the economy. Regarding our youth, it also channels a lot of our energy, it funds our youth, channels a lot of energy towards 
bringing them into the sports field and it's not only football it starts with football most likely but it goes into other sports as well but i'll take you on a quick journey in the last seven years i've played a key role in sports administration in nigeria through just my overall interest and over that time i've come to realize that many individuals such as myself corporates and um, even government wants to support sports but they want to do it in a manner that creates value to all stakeholders um, so what i see with these particularly in areas that we enhance the real ecosystem of um, sports itself is a genuine opportunity for those investments um, to be made because ultimately we are looking at sports not just because of the achievements that will come from the athletes themselves but the whole ecosystem of building to economic viability of the country. When uh, Abu Bakr Lawal approached me and uh, mentioned this product of your company, the word that came out of my mouth was awesome. Awesome because that has always been the missing link to sports in Nigeria. Sports has great potential particularly for a country of multitude of young people in millions. Um, what has been lacking is the institutional framework and the funding to develop talent, to promote talent, and to put them in a position to compete both locally and internationally. And uh, so this idea is fantastic. Um, there's so much room to develop sports so much room to tap into the wealth buried in sports. The major gap that exists in sport uh, um, in the country is primarily uh, funding, of course infrastructure, which directly relates to funding, uh, because we, we have National League, especially in football, where we had some of those uh, clubs grow 50 or more years, uh, some as old as the country really. Uh, but because of the bane of funding, it has become quite challenging. Uh, so I think that gap need to be filled by the private sector, whether via sponsorship or fundraising that would necessitate investment in sporting activities across the country truly fantastic, innovative, creative, and it's going to then enhance sports overall, but particularly football. Football, nearly forever, at least since I can ever remember from when I was born, has been like our national sports. Um, if you see sports development all over the world, particularly in countries where they've taken sports very seriously, you've seen the multiplier effects of sports on their economies, you know. Um, particularly the developed economies. And you know, if we quantify the, the quantum of um, contribution to development of sports, uh, it will be at least in the five to eight percent region in most developed economies. Um, and again, the synergy of sports and tourism, uh, sports and economic diversification, sports and job creation is um, it's invaluable, you know. So I think this fund, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a fantastic idea. I think GTI has been truly innovative and creative and forward-looking. Um, it, it suggests that they're one of the deep thinkers amongst the financial institutions in, that we have available in the country. And I think it's a great idea. A fund dedicated to football development, uh, to football business, um, to enhancing talents, to helping football clubs develop to building football infrastructure uh, and to making money for people through football. So people are making money through the sports they love, um, developing talents, building, um, building proper football teams that would um, enhance Nigeria um, in the, on the global stage, African stage. I think it's a fantastic idea. Yeah, we've been on it uh, for some time now, and uh, we are really excited about the prospect of it uh, because without funds, we cannot achieve anything meaningful in football or sports generally. 
So we are happy because um, it plows deep into the air, our ecosystem. And uh, it's something very well structured, very well orchestrated and designed for success. And uh, we are glad to be associated with it. Beyond its universal appeal, which transcends all known and apparent geographical and ethnic boundaries, sports business is not only lucrative, but also offers multiple streams of income to thousands of business concerns across different sectors of any economy. This is the beginning of a revolution, really, um, as it takes off, as it's managed. First of all, it brings the market to everyone's notice. So for those who never had any contact with the capital market, what it does is it makes them aware of the market. It means that every Monday they'll be looking at um, the price of the shares of their comp, of their of whatever football club it is they're supporting, just to see how they have performed for a start. Secondly, it has a ripple effect on state governments. Why? Because a lot of the time state governments are the ones that fund a lot of these football clubs. Now, if you have a fund, a sitting fund, that is waiting to reward performance with investment, it also means that state governments are freed up um, of, of the need to pay cash. It means that the football clubs can be better run. There are just so many impacts in so many different areas that um, it's a great idea. This is just the whole of economics of sports. Um, at the end of the day, as I said, let me go back to my own example, where as chairman of Edo State Cricket Association, a group of friends came together, put in money, created some kind of investment, and you could see that the impact was not just on the 1,000 athletes that have come out over the years, in the last five years, that have some, many of them have turned out to be national team players. But every week, you see the food sellers, you see those who are coming to work, you see those who are the teachers who are now taking up interest, you see the students who now want to go. So it's unimaginable. I mean, the financials themselves, I've had a read through them. I mean, I've had a read through, it makes compelling reads. But as I said, it's that sustainable bit of it. And um, let me look at it from, at the end of the societal, making societal impact. We're in a different world now where most organizations are, as part of their businesses, embracing societal purpose and impact. This provides a real genuine opportunity um, to do that in a, in a manner to really be contributing back to um, society through sports, which of course we know sports, um, the main the target population for sports is mainly youths. So you're going to be achieving different things. And uh, as I said, you're going to see genuine growth in, in that sector. A welcome development. It is actually something that has uh, marked what I would call the critical catalyst for funding football and, of course, by extension, the entire sporting ecosystem. I, I think Nigerians have the creativity and innovation to take something and make it global or scale it up. Case in point, our movie industry and our music uh, and sporting activity is actually just an extension of the rest of the entertainment world. So uh, getting TNFF be the initiator for fundraising in the economy is fantastic and I wish people would subscribe to it because it is you are developing something you have passion for even if you are not a sporting uh, enthusiast at least you would be enthused by making more money uh, by investing in the TNFF. When you have a fund created for this purpose which has its own institutional structure and objective and people expect returns for their contribution it's a different ball game entirely and I encourage him, I think this is a fantastic idea. Uh, all they need to do is put the structure in place and make sure people have the confidence to, you know, purchase, you know, or invest in the fund. And at the end of the day, um, all will benefit. I'm confident that the fund will help enhance and develop football in Nigeria. And if football is enhanced and develops, 
uh, the multiplier effect on sports um, is incalculable. You know, so I'm confident. I'm confident that um, if you know the way a fund is structured, that those who invest the fund, um, those who invest the proceeds of the fund and the fund, uh, will very carefully take time to know that they're going to invest in areas where they will get their money back with a premium for the benefit of the subscribers to the fund. So um, they will carefully seek areas of football development. Um, that will earn money and profit and help build multipliers in the sports ecosystem. So I'm very confident. I think this is something that should have been thought of a long time ago. I think but, um, it's better we start today than we never start. So I'm very happy that GTI Asset Management is doing this. Um, kudos to GTI Asset Management Board and to their, and, uh, to their management. They've done extremely well. I think the next phase is the process by which we manage this fund and we should ensure we manage it effectively. Join us. Let's go beyond mere talk. Let's build a thriving football economy for all. A football economy that means massive profitable employment opportunities for our team and youths. Talent mining, business growth, united people and a stronger economy. The fund has my full support especially from the perspective of the fact that you will be contributing to society in a big way because the returns when it comes to making a difference to the youths across board is just going to be unimaginable. TNFF is the best vehicle, in fact the only one I see that will provide this platform and I fully support it. There is no meaningful development without funding, appropriate funding. For example, I'm going to be playing Ghana. You need a lot of money for it. You get a charter to take us to Ghana, wait and bring us back accommodation, you know, the motivation for players on Orion, so on and so forth, and then infrastructure. So it's coming at the very right time. And I said it's very well um, designed, you know, it's, you know, the very well orchestrated to succeed. So we are really and really desirous you know of this uh, innovation of these novel ideas and we are really and uh, truly excited about it i'm in full support of the tnff and i encourage and urge every nigerian to be uh, an investor in the tnff i do support this fund very very much it's a fantastic and creative fund innovative you know best in class wholeheartedly I want to say the Nigerian Football Fund have my absolute support. I support the NFF and I, I, I wish every coach and every team and every member of Nigeria, sport lovers and football lovers, to support this same project. Without even the TNFF, we, did, we don't want to compete with them already. So I did very sure with the TNFF, we even day ahead of them. So now nah, nah plus to us. Join us. Let's unlock greatness.